Top story tonight at 8 o'clock, a new bill that could mandate all California businesses require employees and independent contractors to be vaccinated against COVID-19. East Bay Assembly member Buffy Wicks introduced the bill this afternoon with the support of some business and public health leaders. Crown Force Amanda Harry explains why they believe this is an essential bill to move from the pandemic stage to an endemic. Assembly member Buffy Wicks says she doesn't want people to live in constant fear of the next new variant and how it could end up affecting our lives. She says getting more people vaccinated will help protect the return to normalcy. Workers deserve to be safe. The theory behind this is that we know that the pathway to endemic is through vaccines. This would be a first in the nation bill. It would mandate all businesses in the state of California to require their employees and independent contractors to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. State Senate Health Committee Chair Dr. Richard Pan says this needs to happen. Having a safe workplace is essential to keeping their businesses going, is essential to being sure that workers are going to be at work and keeping our economy going. The bill would require that workplaces and employers of all sizes verify their workers are fully immunized against COVID-19. If signed into law and passed by Governor Newsom, it would take effect January 1st of 2023. Dr. Pan says people shouldn't downplay the significance of this virus. Each day, more people have died than have died during 9-11. Infectious disease expert Dr. John Schwartzberg says vaccines have been mandated for more than 100 years. He says that's because they save lives. Almost everybody who is in the ICU because of COVID is not vaccinated. He believes the state needs this type of legislation. We're 4% of the world's population. We're 21, we have 21% of the world's cases and we have 15% of the world's deaths. The United States has not done a good job in terms of controlling this pandemic, keeping people safe, and protecting people from dying. John Ahrensmeyer is the CEO of Small Business Majority, a national small business organization that advocates on their behalf. He says a bill like this would make it easier on small businesses. This is the bottom line. Small businesses don't want to be traffic cops in debates about public safety. They're looking for a common statewide standard that disentangles them from politics. The bill also says that there would be a fee assessed on businesses that don't follow the mandate. Legislators say they want to work with business owners to figure out how much that fee should be. Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.